I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting problem on speed, distance and time. Let us consider a person who is walking and who comes across a hill, right? And then he decides to go over the hill and then down the hill to the other side. Now, what we are given here is that the person starts from here and goes to the top of the hill that much of distance and while walking up the hill the speed of the person is on the average 4 kilometers per hour and now the person descends from this side and comes to the other side now while coming down the speed is slightly higher and let us assume that this speed is 6 kilometers per hour okay so we'll call these points as point A, B and C. So B is the top of the hill. So person starts from A, reaches point B, that much of distance is covered at this average speed of 4 kilometers per hour and while coming down the average speed is 6 kilometers per hour and the person reaches the point C. What we know here is that the time taken to go from A to C, to go from A to C is, uh, let us say, 1 hour and 25 minutes. 1 hour and 25 minutes. Okay, this is known to us. And now, the same person decides to return. Now, on the return, you have to come like this, right? So, from C to B, so the distance is becomes down the hill becomes up the hill and then from b to a right so for the return up the hill again is four kilometers per hour and down the hill is six kilometers per hour during this time the person takes a bit longer so the time to return that is from c to a is uh, let us say 1 hour and 30 minutes so 5 minutes extra with this information you need to find what is the total distance traveled by the person right so you need to find the distance traveled so the question here is you are given this information you need to find total distance okay so that is the question for you you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, uh, let us start with the very basic formula which we know relates distance, speed, and time. Distance, speed, and time, right? So that's the triangle which always helps us to remember the formula. It is distance is equal to speed times time. That's the formula, right? In this particular situation, distance is not known to us. We have to find it. We'll say the distance is AB, the distance between A and B, and BC, the distance between B and C. We are given the time. So in the first step, let us convert this time to hours. 1 hour, 25 minutes. So that will be 1 hour. 25 minutes is 25 over 60, correct? Uh, which can be simplified and written as 1 hour 5 over 12 or if I write it as improper fractions 12 plus 5 is 17 I could also write this as 17 over 12 correct I hope you understand these steps the second time which is 1 hour and 30 minutes it could be written as 1 hour 30 minutes is 30 divided by 60 minutes to convert them to hours right so that is one hour and half minute and that could be written as three over two hours is that okay so that is how we have converted time which was in minutes in time which is in hours correct total time is given to us so let's say one way that is going from a to c let's consider when a person is going from a to c in that case what is the time taken time taken is 17 over 12 now this time is combination of time taken to cover uphill and then downhill right so it is uphill 
plus downhill time, right? Now uphill time will be distance divided by speed. Distance we are saying is distance AB and the speed is 4 kilometers per hour. So write 4 plus downhill distance is BC and the speed is 6 kilometers per hour and we know that this time is equal to 17 over 12 hours. Is that okay? So we converted 1 hour 25 minutes into hours 17 over 12. So we get one equation. We can simplify this equation a bit. Multiply everything by 12. So if I times everything by 12, I get this as 3 times distance AB plus 2 times distance BC is equals to 17, right? So we get one equation. Now, let us consider the second case, that is when the person is returning. So returning C2A, so let us say C2A. Now C2A is one and a half hour. It is uphill. Uphill this time will be C to B, right? Or I'm, let me write this as BC. BC is uphill now. That is uphill. And the walking average speed is 4 kilometers per hour. And downhill while returning will be AB or BA. So I'll write AB divided by 6 kilometers per hour. And this is 3 over 2. 3 over 2. To simplify, we can multiply all these numbers terms by 12 and write this as 3 times BC, this distance, okay, and AB. 2 times AB is equals to, when you multiply this by 12, you get 6 times 3 as 18. So you get the second equation. So now we have two equations to solve, 1 and 2. Now these two equations are in distances between AB and BC. You can actually eliminate and then find the value of the distance, correct? So to eliminate, what we will do is, we'll multiply the first equation by, let's say by 3. Let's eliminate BC, okay? Let's multiply this by 3. So if I multiply the first equation by 3, what do I get? 3 times 3 is 9. I get 9AB. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 BC. And uh, 3 times 17, 7 times 3 is 21, 251. That is what we get. And we can multiply the other equation by 2. So equation 2 will multiply by 2. So we will eliminate BC. When we multiply the second equation by 2, we get 3 times 2 is 6 BC, 4AB plus equals to 36, right? So these are the two equations which we get. Let me call them as equation 3 and 4. Now to eliminate, we can take away from equation 3, equation 4. So we'll do equation 3 minus equation 4. So when we do that, 6BC, 6BC cancel, 9AB minus 4AB gives us 5AB. That is equals to 51 minus 36 right so let me do that 51 minus 36 11 take away 6 is 5 and 4 take away 3 is 1 so we can get a b as 15 divided by 5 which is 3 so we find that the a b distance up the hill from a to b is 3 kilometers right so we got one that is now we know that a b is 3 kilometers from this we can actually get the distance BC also. Let us substitute this value. Let me call this as uh, equation 5. In one of our equations, let us say, well, sub equation 5 in, let us say, 1. Okay. So in 1, we have 3AB. So we have 3 times AB is 5, is 3 for us. So 3 times 3 plus 2 times BC is equals to 17. So that is 9 plus 2 times BC is equals to 17. 2 times BC is 17 take away 9. So 2 times BC is equals to uh, 17 take away 9 will be 8. 
So we get 2 BC equals to 8. So BC is equals to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So we find the distance to be 3 kilometers and 4 kilometers, right? So let me write down the answers here. So this distance is 3 kilometers and that is 4 kilometers, correct? So the answer for us is from A to B, it is 3 kilometers and from B to C, it is 4 kilometers, right? So that is how you can solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. If you like the video, you can always subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.